What is reading? Reading can be defined differently by different people, educators, psychologists, and linguists. Um, everybody, uh, they will come to the same conclusion that is attaching meaning to certain words or symbols. Now, I've read something in the Your Family that they say passionate readers for of today are mind, uh, sorry, are problem solvers of tomorrow or the future. Now, what is reading? Um, of grow a love for reading. Reading, um, you know, it, it's not everybody that likes reading, but at a young age, you must encourage a child to read. Because if you don't, you know that child lacks or is, is, is sort of not into uh, other people or friends, they, they lack it because they're not so confident to express themselves and so on. Love for reading should be created at a young age. Um, a child should be coaxed or encouraged to read. But if you find those children that don't want to read, so don't panic about it. Try to just get them involved in the library. The library's got lots and lots of books. And there they will get to grow to love reading. But you know, it's so unfortunate that at home, those children don't have the means that their parents could buy books. But the best place is to take them to the library. And there they were. I found out that um, I had a, an album. And I opened it one evening. And then I found out that my grandchildren were quite interested in the pictures, especially when there's lots of detail in the pictures. And uh, Ma, what is this? Why is this like that? So you create a sense of comprehension also from them. They um, tend to want to ask questions, especially if you encourage them to ask questions and so on. And I found that if you take them perhaps on a trip to um, the supermarket, then you can also tell them, uh, get them out to uh, tons of baked beans, a packet of rice, you know, that is also, it stimulates them to want to read. Um, don't force them. Never force a child to read a certain book. Then you kill that uh, confidence or you kill the love to read. Um, I should say that um, to stimulate their minds by interesting books, books that are interested, uh, they are interested in, and get them to read those books and so on. Um, reading, reading is actually a creative, free thinking exercise. And you should allow that child to read for pleasure. And if you uh, force it, you will kill that love to read. Now, um, be a, a model for your child. You know, if a child sees adults read, they take it for granted or they think it must be like that. We should read. We should uh, uh, follow like uh, monkey see, monkey do. You know, they, they then want to read. They want to be part of that reading process. Um, reading to your child uh, is, is actually an, adv an advantage for his academic career. Right, now 
if we think about the love, now we go to the magic of reading. Now, my one magic point is that I can travel the whole world without paying a single cent. Just by reading different books on different countries and towns and so on, um, reading to your children is the best thing that you can do. <clears throat> it's fun, it's magic moments, it's a sense of bonding with your child. You will bond with your child at that stage. And you know, these days, it's so because parents are working, they uh, tend to, uh, how can I say, not have time, but just a, a few minutes a day or in the evening. It gives that child a sense of uh, wanting to be there, wanting to know what is going on and so on. It prompts conversation, as I said, with the album. Uh, it improves vocabulary, speech, and pronunciation. It also, um, when you read, you strengthen your child's listening span, the attention span. You know, um, children uh, up to about six years, seven, they don't have a long span. It's very short. So they have that uh, 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 not uh, uh, tending to concentrate. Um, I think it is also valuable so that children can, uh, in, in the academic uh, process, that they can excel. Because, you know, if, if uh, it, nowadays the school has such a lot of work that children tire quickly. And if you can increase that span, you do wonders. Um, so, without further ado, is I would love parents to create that love of reading for their children, to help their children towards achieving success and to achieve above average, because. <laughs> A child that doesn't that doesn't read don't have that um, what can you say the 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 advantage the advantage of reading. Thank you very much. <laughs>